Good morning and thank you for tuning in this Sunday. We will back we will be, be back we will be back in our church auditorium uh, fellowship and service with one another and uh, it's exciting. It has been I believe almost 10 or more weeks. We haven't got to meet in our church auditorium. We've been meeting through Facebook Live and uh, praise the Lord for that, but I cannot wait for that great reunion this Sunday. Hope you can make it. But uh, I want to jump into this do devotional and give you something hopefully that will encourage you and challenge you this morning. The title of this devotion, well before I get to the title, I'd like to open up and say with this shelter in place, uh, I don't know about you, but I have had a lot of time to take care of some things around the house. We've uh, taken care of some stuff at the church already, but uh, many, many of you have had the opportunity to uh, do a deep clean per se, or maybe spring cleaning at your houses. Uh, just the other other day, we uh, I washed all the cars, uh, cleared out our closets, got rid of a bunch of junk, uh, cleaned out the yards, built some garden beds, and just took care of a lot of projects and did a little deep cleaning around the house. And I believe all those things are important. Hopefully you're not living in filth. No, I'm just joking, but I uh, hope uh, you, you've had a chance and an opportunity with the shelter in place to um, take care of those things. But more importantly than taking care of, I believe, these physical things, such as the home, such as the yard, I believe that there is a need, and here's the title, for a spiritual deep clean. Yes, we have a physical deep clean. We take care of some, some things around the house, and that's important. But I believe with the time God has given us, it is time for a spiritual deep clean. Preachers have preached. I've preached the same message. We get so busy for God that we forget to read our Bible and we forget to pray. But, you know, maybe God put this uh, this pandemic in our nation, in our world, so that we can slow down and get back into the Bible and get back into prayer and restore home so families can be together and spend time with one another so people could pr uh, prioritize properly putting God first, uh, putting family second, then church. Maybe God has given us this time to slow down and have a spiritual deep clean. You know, we have gotten so busy in our nation, uh, especially if you know anything about the Bay Area. We are just, we're going at it constantly, working, working, working. And many times we work so hard. And there's nothing wrong with work. Man was made to work. There's nothing wrong with those things. But many people have worked so much and they put God in the back burner. And that's not the way it ought to be. God, if you look at this time we've had, I look at it as an opportunity to serve God more, to build that relationship with Christ, to read the Bible more, to pray more, and most importantly, have that spiritual deep clean. I want to take you to a verse in Psalms chapter 139. Verse 23, it says here, Search me, O God, and know my heart. Try me and know my thoughts and see if there be any wicked way in me and lead me in the way everlasting. Americans have been living so fast that we have forgot about God. If I could challenge you this morning, let's have a, a spiritual deep clean. Let's get our lives fixed. Let's claim this verse, search me, O God, and know my heart. Try me. And know my thoughts and see if there be any wicked way in me and lead me in the way everlasting. What an opportunity God has given us for homes to be able to spend more time together. But most importantly, for Christians to get alone with God, to pray more, to read the Bible more. You know, God has a message for you. He has a will for you, a perfect will. And God wants us to live that will pleasing to him. And I hope during these times, you can maybe take a step to the side and just spend more time with God and have a spiritual deep clean. Well, can't wait to see you back on Sunday. And I hope that this would uh, encourage you to have a deeper walk with God. Thank you. God bless.